morning everyone this is Jonas from prod future today I've brought to you a software well developed in C sharp using dev express and this software is called human resources management system we got inspired from many companies like sage VIP it's like uh, are the ma so many companies that have created so far the human resources management systems we've created this one in c sharp and we found it to be one of the best among the best in this software we are able to manage our employees remember when you click on the home page using dev express you can change the color the look and feel for your software depend on the view on how you want it to look like I can click on the black one I can go down I can change any color I can take anything whatever I need can you allow me just to take this one so that it can look a little bit clearer after logging I've got a picture for the user the company name and any other things that can be also changed it can be updated according to your business need quickly let me click on the human resources tab i'll click on the employees management and from the employees management i've got a search engine over here where i can see people still employed the terminated one i can count the number of men i've got in my company number of women in the company i can also count the number of retired i just have to click on this button there i will have people i've not added so far so many employees but let me click on view whole so that i can view the number of employees already saved in our database we've got two suppose i would like to update the existing one i just have to, to select this one and double click on it when i double click i'll have a pop up another form here then i'll go anywhere i want to set to change maybe put a name then i'll click on update and it will be updated automatically it will be saved like that at my right hand side, I've got a quick access tool. On this quick access tool, I can see the issued equipment. Let's see you employ somebody and you issue him with a car, a laptop, any equipment, you come and upload it here. And when you employ somebody with his resume, everything, you can upload all the documents related to the employee. Let me click on this upload document. I can view all the document I've uploaded so far for one or two employees. I can search from here. I can select and I can click on the preview button. Remember, this is just a demo. Let me go a little bit quicker. I can also access directly from here, the disciplinary actions. I know there is another tab, another module talking about disciplinary management, maybe from there. We can see it but i can click directly from here and view the disciplinary management linked to this employee i can see also the leave management what about the training history what about the requirement according to the company suppose that i would like to save a new employee to my database i'll have to click on new after a second just takes a second there we go first of all before i had any employee i have to add the department the section the subsection i have to add the job title i have to maybe add the family members but for the family members it won't be so for now i can click on our department i can put for example any department code uh, the department name can be let's say maintenance or let's say uh check safety it can be safety and the head of the department it's maybe vincent that's the name vincent monga for example let me click on save i've saved successfully i can close it then i can click on browse take any picture I can upload it there and from there after that i can put all the names when i come to the occupations under the department and under the job title there will be an automatic pop-up there i'm going to select and save 
I can select all the personal details from here. I can view the family members of our employees. I can also add them from here by clicking the add button. Then I can add any family member linked to the employee number who is their parent. Remember, this is just a demo, but we'll view it in details in a later video. And after that, we can go and see the career management recruitment. Can I go quicker to the disciplinary management or leave management? When I click this disciplinary management, everything seems to be like the same. We can view how many people we've so far uh, disciplined and we can click on new. And from here, we can view the number of employee a employee number, the name of the accused, it will be pop up automatically after the employee number when you just enter the employee number. And then the name will come here. It's reported by who? Who has reported details of the, the offense, the date of the incident, blah, blah, blah. It, was there any court or labor inspection case related to this disciplinary? If yes, you will click on this one and save on that one. After that, we've got a lot. We've got the inventory management system that we've added just to make our software look a little bit better. But for now, you can go quick, quick and click on the finance department when you have finance tab, and then you can add the payroll management. On this payroll management, we manage everything. We can import data from the time and attendance. We've not included that software in this one so far but we know that we can use it. You can import from time and attendance and you can do the salary calculation. But before anything, click on overtime and night hours. It's from here, you are going to add the night hours and overtime. You can also import from an Excel file from here. When you click, you can import and put it here then you can have all the hours. Let me click quickly on the salary calculations. I know it's a demo, I'm going just quicker. We've got an employee in this month is January, 2021. This is this employee. Then depends on your company and your country rules and regulations, you will do the calculations of your employees from here. After that, you can go to the loan management. You can go to the report. From the report, you can see the tax register. I can come here. I see, for example, the tax register for all the employees 2020. I can see the tax register, what we've paid, like salaries, what was the tax register, how much we are giving to the government. I can see from here. I can see the salary register as well from January 2020. I can see the salary register for all the employees so far. It's only one employee. Let's go to another month, for example. I can see how many employees for their salary register. We can export it to Excel as well. We can view anything. So this is just a demo video. We've got a lot of things. What can we do? We've got the leave encashment. Leave encashment means an employee is supposed to go on leave, but he doesn't go on leave and you would like to pay him for the number of his days. Then you can go and fill this form and pay him as well. We've got the area payment details. We've got the bonus payment. What don't we have? We've got everything related to the employee's payment, dues, dues, don't, and any other things. So thank you for this demo. We hope that you subscribe on the button. We hope that you will like by the way, there is a description below where you click and can go and download the source code for this application. Thank you. Until next time.